Today, I'm gonna to be making a copycat crumble chocolate chip cookie, but then we're also gonna to get to compare it to the real chocolate chip, the milk chocolate chip cookie from Crumble. So we will have a, a comparison between the two at the end of the video. And also, I will, in the description below, I will give you a link to this recipe. So um, if it, it looks good to you, if it ends up being a good recipe, then you can click on it and print out the instructions just like I did and make these for yourself. So the uh, uh, ingredients you will need is you need one cup of cold butter cut into small pieces. So that is two sticks of butter. You need one and a fourth cups of brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, one and a half cups of cake flour and i left the box out just because that's i wanted to show you what that looked like if you haven't bought cake flour uh, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of salt and two cups of milk chocolate chips now they said milk chocolate chips Crumble uses guitar chips, so I bought the guitar milk chocolate chips, and you're gonna use the whole bag. It, this is an 11.5 ounce bag. Oh, that was in there. I felt something in there. I was like, what is in there? Um, this is an 11.5 ounce bag. You're gonna use the entire bag. So you, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You want to line two baking sheets, two cookie sheets with parchment paper. So the first thing we wanna do is beat the butter and the sugars, the brown sugar and the regular sugar. Beat those on high for three to five minutes. to add in the vanilla and the eggs and then we're gonna beat this for one more minute we're gonna add in our dry ingredients our soda our salt our cake flour and our regular flour I'm gonna add those in a little bit at a time just so they won't puff up want to uh, stir in your chips and this will probably be really hard to do because this is very very thick with all that uh, the cake flour and the regular flour it's this is a very thick dough so now what you want to do it says take about a third of a cup and you want to form this into a ball I want it a little bit bigger than that because crumble cookies are a good size cookie for sure. And then you want to take half of that and then you want to turn it upside down and kind of put it back so that it's not, you want a rough, like a rough cookie. Uh, you don't want it uh, to be in a uh, perfect ball on top. in for 10 minutes or until they're golden brown and then we'll be back this is how the cookies look after 10 minutes they did not get very brown and I'm guessing that's because you don't leave them in very long uh, but also uh, with the addition of the cake flour and everything and I love those guitar chips I love how those chips they they get soft but they don't melt into a puddle and they still retain their terrific shape so they do cost a little bit more but they have a fantastic flavor and uh, they just work great with cookies okay so on this plate the crumble cookie is the darker one the ones i made are the lighter ones so once again the crumble cookie and the one that i made 
Okay, so we have our cookies like I showed you. I did heat up the crumble cookie in the microwave because I, I made fresh baked cookies. I wanted theirs to be fresh baked too. Uh, so since this this whole video has been this copycat recipe, should we try the crumble first or should we try the I think we should try the crumble first. Okay, we'll do the crumble. Oh, the crumble one is the darker one. They look very similar as far as like- The chips? Yeah. Um, the homemade one is just a little bit lighter, like mm -hmm. paler, but mm -hmm. that's a baking thing, not a ingredient thing. It has a very distinct flavor. They're chocolate. Um, and I truly believe it's all to do with that guitar. Of course, we're going to see when we try mine, uh, the one that I made. Uh, but I think that chocolate is just, I really like that milk, that rich milk chocolate mm -hmm. flavor. A lot of chocolate chip cookies, I don't know, the, the chocolate doesn't have a stand out flavor. To me, this does. Well, even um, the Nestle Toll House, mm -hmm. they're excellent, but most of what you taste is the butter in the, in the actual cookie. The right. chocolate's like a secondary flavor. Okay. Uh, look how Yours melty. is a little gooier than the, the, the crumble ones. I won't complain. So, um, so if you baked them a little longer, they would be not only browner, but they would be firmer. Wow. Did you get all that chocolate? I didn't get as much as you did, which oh is probably gosh. more fair. Mine is probably more fair than yours. Mm. I got like all chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. The texture, if you like ooey gooey, these are very, very, very ooey gooey. You know, once you get to the edge though, mm -hmm. where it's not as gooey, mm -hmm. the texture is very similar between the two cookies. So the cake flour really does make a difference. It, it's it's a finer texture. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually um, when you're making, like if you're making the recipe on the back of Nestle Tell House, it doesn't call, call for cake flour. So It's all purpose flour. Yeah. It's a smoother consistency with the cake flour mm -hmm. than it would be if you used regular flour. Yeah, the the, the texture and everything's very, and it's very close to each other actually. I think mine, I'm calling them mine, the ones that I made. It's not my recipe. The homemade one. The, yeah, I think they have more chocolate chips in them. They um, do, they're a little, and they're just a touch sweeter. Mm -hmm. I think so too, um, because it does have a lot of chocolate chips. That of, could be making it sweeter. Of course, it's going to make it sweeter. Yeah. Um, because you're getting more of that chocolate flavor, um, and you the know crumble what? one has more. I I do taste the chocolate absolutely, mm -hmm. but I do think the butter comes through more in the crumble. See, mine didn't have as many chocolate chips as yours, mm -hmm. so I got the butter flavor from the homemade. Ones. Okay. Um, I, I think they're very, very similar to each other. They're not dead on each other, but they're very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So if you if you really love crumble and you can't go to crumble or they move or you move or whatever and you want to reproduce it, I think that's a pretty good representation of crumble. Some people watch the videos every Monday, which we greatly appreciate. Mm -hmm. And they don't have a crumble near them. Yeah. Well, and people overseas are watching. They definitely don't have a crumble. <laughs> no. So, I mean, we appreciate that so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are overseas and you're watching this, now you can make these. You yeah. could totally do these. And if you um, don't have guitar uh, chocolate chips, just get something that's a really, don't get the really cheap chocolate chips. Get the ones that cost a little bit more. That's the biggest deal. You and, want a really good tasting chocolate chip. Yes, but size matters. Yeah, if you can get the bigger ones, try your best to get them. Maybe yes. you can't, a regular chip will work, but. I never knew until we did a blind taste test of milk oh, chocolate, chocolate chips that um, really none of them have those great big chips except the guitar. Yeah. And it does make a difference. Well, first of all, of course it's quality. It's very delicious, wonderful quality. But that size does make a difference because you're getting a bigger chip in every single bite. Mm -hmm. And it's it's awesome. Yeah. It so, does make a difference. And the texture is different too because you get more of that, that melty chocolate. Yes, so no matter where you live, 
see if there's a difference in your chocolate chips and try to get the biggest you can, biggest chocolate chip you can. Of course, they might all be the same size. You might not be able to do that. But you could totally make these at home and then you would know what we're tasting yeah, here. Yeah, they're, they're close. Yeah. Not that on. They're close. They're enough. very, very, very close. Closer yeah. than some copycats you get. Yes. So I will leave uh, this link below. It is letsdishrecipes.com, but I'm going to leave the link below so that you can click on it, you can print it out, and you can make them yourself at home. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.